waiting for you, but uh, well, it sounded like a real adventure coming in today. Uh, what was that like? The, I, mean, I just said the winds pushed her off, and you guys were all kind of just battling and working together a little bit at some point. Huh? Yeah, it was a uh, hell of a storm going on out there yeah. in the blow hole. kind of never really know what to expect. It was breezy in White Mountain, but not bad. And I had heard it was calm here, which kind of kind of scares you thinking there's probably going to be wind somewhere but I've been through a lot of I've been through a lot of high winds in there and it's um, <laughs> usually like 10 to 15 minute stretches followed by a little break and then you hit another wall this one was like steady hour and a half to two hours of, of wind and it was there was some really gnarly spots like if you if you if you got off the trail by a little bit you like she was off the trail by 20 30 feet and she was not going to get back on the trail wow that's and, what happened there then. Yeah. yeah. So luckily I, I yelled at her through the wind if she wanted to try to follow and um, we just stayed stayed on the trail and she got her leaders over to me and then we took off together and, and then we went I don't know maybe 45 minutes or so traveling like that together through it mm -hmm. and then I started to see flashes of a headlight in front of me but off the trail as well figuring it was Jesse's light but it was coming from over the bank like down by the beach by the sea ice so I kept flashing my light that way as much as I could to see if she could see my light so she'd know where the trail is because I knew she was off the trail oh, wow. and you could only shine your light over there for so long because you had to look forward and try to give the dog some light to see what was right. going on but eventually after like 30 minutes of kind of paralleling each other and shining our lights back and forth she finally found a spot to climb up and then she came and met up with us and we just shined our lights so her lead dog could see where to go and then we just traveled in, uh, in tandem three of us for I don't know another half hour or 40 minutes and it finally it finally let up enough we were able to kind of stop and regroup and wow. snack the dogs. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah. Where, where, how, how would you consider that as far as his hair and as you, anything you've done on this? Trail? I was nervous. I, I mean I've ne you know there's there's been very few times I've been nervous in this race and I was I had a, there was a little bit of nervousness think, thinking you know it would only take one big gust to swing the team off the trail and then there were some icy spots too and just yeah it was kind of nip and tuck and you know I think I think she would have had a hard time getting out of there um, if I hadn't come along and it was not I mean I don't know what the temperature is here today but what yeah we're, you know we're talking 60 mile an hour wind so whatever that wind chill is it was not, not safe to, you know to be stuck out there in that so it, yeah it was it was right up there with some some of the most crazy dog driving you know you you've won this race before each year is different each year you kind of look at something and take something away what do you take away from this year as far as the positives or what you want to do going forward I, guess. Uh, I don't know yet I guess we got to think about that a little yeah. bit yeah. so it kind of takes a few days to let it all soak in or so yeah. sleep to drive to type but I think things thoughts start to gather in the next few days yeah. we'll see absolutely happy to be in Nome yeah. it's always good to get here so. thank you for your time yeah. Yeah, for sure.